if you can identify the key narratives and drivers behind a coin like Delizium, which has ripped nearly 5x in just the last 10 days, well guys, guess what? You can find the very next coin that's about to do the exact same. In this video, I'm going to talk about a key narrative that Delizium is representing right now, and the next coin that I think is going to see this level of explosive growth. This is a really important video because it's going to help you to find winning coins over and over again. So do me a favor, hit that like button, let's get into today's video. Now guys, what on earth has been going on with AGI and Delizium? Well, if you subscribe to my channel, then you probably would have been buying into this coin because I've been talking about this coin multiple times over the last couple of months and literally out of the blue, it suddenly wakes up last week and it rips 419%, just over 5x absolutely crazy scenes. Why is it doing it? Well, because of a number of different things. And a number of different things come under a few different categories. And don't worry, we'll go over them bit by bit. First things first, the chart. The chart looked good for it. Why does the chart need to look good for it? Well, because the people who are driving these moves, who are preparing these moves, are not because suddenly everyone's realized that this is great. No, guys, it's far more dark and sinister than perhaps you really want it to be and it's because the people who are kind of buying in down here who are basically kind of controlling the markets also then have the ability to pump the markets like this you pump the market a coordinated attack with market makers cause a big surge towards the upside then everyone starts to fomo in along the way it all goes very nicely it gets up here the big money kind of start to take some profits while the small money continue to buy in and fund those profits for the big money, and same, same happens every single time. So it's important that the chart is in a good position, because obviously we're not on the inside scoop. So if we're not on the inside scoop, we need to kind of think about what the insiders are trying to do. And they won't pump coins that are already pumped. Simply, we can identify this trend. And yeah, we've got a nice little breakthrough here. We then need to understand this coin does. And we come across the Delizium website. We're like, okay, AI powered open world framework. Nice. What's this all about? Dive into the website. We have a little bit of a, a look through and no, stop it. I'm not telling you to buy Delizium. Don't go and do that. Okay. It's absolutely ripped because you don't want to be the exit liquidity for people like Alex Becker. Okay. Because we, the house of crypto, were talking about this back in like October time. And you can see that was around here. And then suddenly it's blown up and done a 23 X. Now you've got Alex Becker at the top telling you it's going to do another 5x, even though he's lying to you. So because we don't want to buy Delizium, that's fine, but we still need to understand what it is and why it's pumping, because then we can find the next. Well, here we go. Okay, AI-powered open world framework. Create your AI twins with Delizium AI. Okay, so this is basically coming down through an AI-powered Web3 operating system uh, that has basically lots of different AI agents. And it's this keyword, AI agents, which is two words or one word and two letters that is the key this narrative is really very hot right now and i'm going to keep this straightforward and simple mainly because i'm not like smart enough to make it more complex but let's just stick with me here okay so this image here this little diagram tells us a lot we have the existing software the large language models and then the ai agents existing software was where we were and now we're in the large language model environment now you've probably come across in your you know, time online, something called ChatGPT, or, you know, if you're a bit of a degen, Claude.ai, then you'll know that this is what is a large language model. Ultimately, what it is, is a system that's being fed huge amounts of information. It's then been taught to kind of manipulate and use this information to kind of create answers. But it doesn't really yet have the ability to take action with that information. An AI agent is a slightly different thing. Imagine right now that I'm trying to sell solar panels. So what might I do? I might then go to Google and try and like create a list of all the people in the UK who have previously inquired about, you know, this kind of stuff. And then I might go through and I might go and give each of these people a call or send each of these people an email so that maybe I can sell them my solar panels because my solar panels are cheaper than the ones that they've talked about. Or maybe you've got like a dog grooming service and you want to go out there and find like people who have their dogs groomed so that you can go out there and like sell your dog grooming package to the same sort of people. This is kind of like a standard practice for people who are like working online and doing kind of marketing and things like that. It involves collecting large amounts of data, putting all your data into like databases and then using that data, to then turn it into emails and marketing and whatever. And if you've ever done this before, then you'll realize that it takes fucking ages and it's a real pain in the ass. 
and people can't be bothered to do it. However, an AI agent, you can literally be like, hey mate, I want you to go and get me all the people who've had dog grooming or applied for dog grooming at various different dog grooming stations around the UK or wherever you live over the last few years, then put it into a big spreadsheet. I then want you to go and like target the people with a certain credit card limit over a certain amount and then go and send them marketing emails from my luxury like dog grooming parlor. Does that make sense? I don't have a dog. I don't, I've never taken a dog dog grooming. I don't know why that's come into my head. But you get the picture, okay? An AI agent is like having, you know, some dog's body in your office who will do anything for you and it'll take them like no time at all. I think you'll understand this is quite clearly the future. Something that's very cutting edge. The next level of AI. Why is it so cutting edge? Well, guys, because it pretty much requires them to think like a human being. Okay, so as per, I've gone down some rabbit hole on AI agents. Fine, but it's important because AI agents are what's kicking off. How do I know they're kicking off? Well, because Delizium is an AI agent and it's just ripped like 5x in like just over a week. So before I tell you the coin that I think is going to be like the next big mover and shaker in this space, of which I have talked about it a little bit before, but you know, you may be not paying attention to it like you have done right now because I've suddenly showed you like a big dirty like pump on one coin and told you I can get you one like this in the next. Now I've got your attention. Let's just think about it like this. The narrative in this case is like, okay, these narratives are pumping. The next narrative is likely to pump. Also, another thing that you might consider is something like this. If we know that there's different ecosystems within crypto, I'm sure you're aware, like you've got the Ethereum, you've got like the Solana and the AVAX and whatever. Back in October, you saw loads of like coins and things built on Solana and whatever, starting to rip towards the upside. Like Orca Swap, we then identified that AVAX was following Solana, so that then within that we saw like Pangolin pumping Trader Joe. Basically, we just took the narrative, which was Dexes built on Solana, and then just bought Dexes built on AVAX, and then those ripped like four or five X. So easy, right? Yeah. Okay. So what's ripping right now? Well, we know AI agents, but which chain? Like, how do we know? Is it Solana? Is it AVAX? Whoa. Well, you know, as someone who has loved Solana over the last sort of year or so the Solana ecosystem is actually not doing much right now in terms of like growing or shrinking it's kind of sort of running steady however it may have suddenly caught your attention that ethereum is actually finally getting moving why is it getting moving well because now we're seeing the retail uptick now i talked about this last week and i was a little bit wrong because maybe i found the wrong data but the retail is starting to crawl back into the space they're like oh you know i've taken a couple of years off and I've gone away and done, like, stuff, like, lived my life. And now I'm like, oh, Bitcoin's back at 50k. Ethereum looks like it's lagging behind. Potential, you know, Bitcoin ETF drove the bull market. We've now got an Ethereum ETF looming. Ethereum is looking very interesting. Coinbase represents retailers coming back in because it's the easiest exchange to use. And it's typically the gateway for people to enter back into crypto. Here you can see another, like, quarterly retail trading volume on Coinbase. Looks good. Okay, we've got lots of money flowing back into Coinbase. Again, represents that retail's coming back in. What does retail know? Retail knows this. Retail knows Bitcoin is what everyone should be holding a big portion of Bitcoin. That's not financial advice, Kate. Okay? I don't personally hold a big portion of Bitcoin anymore. Then a big chunk of Ethereum, some USDT in the back pocket, uh, Solana, and then you can see the rest. Okay which there's a few kind of newer ones that are slipping in there that you might not have expected, like Celestia, uh, Bonk, um, Stacks, even ICP. We wouldn't have seen in the last kind of bull market, start of the bull market, you wouldn't have seen these kind of coins. Maybe you would have seen the likes of ADA and XRP, uh, but maybe not so much the others. And I've showed you this a hundred times before, if you're subscribed, which, uh, which hopefully if I give you a minute, you can maybe muster up the courage. Subscribe, like the video. Now, path to old coin season, Bitcoin. Ethereum, large caps. While we have seen like a lot of stuff going on in the market through the autumn, it's kind of different, right? The reason we saw a lot of moves in certain coins was because the whole space is a bit more degen than it was last time. Last time, you know, you had the very small portion of people who knew what was going on, who were kind of like driving the markets. Right now, we've got a, probably a much bigger audience of people who actually know what they're kind of getting into, which means they don't typically look into Ethereum anymore. They're looking into like other Solanas. AVAX is whatever you want, okay? Now, however, as the retail enters back into the space, the same path to old season will be restored. Ethereum, 
will be the main driver. And I think Ethereum, if we look into the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, is starting to show that it's ready to break out of this pattern. What does that mean for us? Well, if Bitcoin, sorry, Ethereum slowly actually eventually breaks from here, which could happen very quickly, I think it might happen tomorrow or to maybe the next day. But, you know, if that suddenly happens, you're going to maybe see Bitcoin sitting kind of quietly and Ethereum just shredding. And I mean, right now, Ethereum's just hit $3,000. Okay, so Ethereum, that ecosystem is waking up. As people flood back in for the ETFs and stuff, people are now going to be trading on Ethereum. So look at the chain. And now what am I looking at? I now know that AI agents, particularly now in the Ethereum AI agent space, are looking good. Let's go to Google Trends to confirm our thoughts, our ideas. We've got AI agents. Okay, suddenly, interest over time, look at it, really ripping towards the upside. And look, I've been telling you about Deepin for the last couple of months. That's why we're seeing a big surge in Deepin, okay? Identify kind of the move, the excitement, okay? Those moves will start to be created. You will then get people starting to FOMO in, which drives those crazy, quick, easy gains if we do all the background homework before, which is what we're doing now. Now, what can we do? Well, we can go away and find ourselves some AI agent crypto coins that have like, you know, lots of things going on for them. But you're like, I didn't want to do that. I didn't come here to get told to do my own research. You're doing my research for me because it's a Sunday, hungover. Okay, let's do it, right? And what I can do is come across to Nansen.ai and I've showed people a few times what you can do. I can find two coins that have been doing really well recently. I've gone for AGI, which is Delizium, and Ajix, which is Singularity Net. Both, of course, in the AI space on Ethereum. I'm then going to come across people like this. You've got like $13.1 million in their bank, you know, and have been actively trading AI coins. And I come down through the list until I find a coin that fits the narrative that I'm talking about, which is the AI agent space of which we come across this one, which is OLAS or Auto OLAS. We can then see that, you know, a few minutes or so, we started to get a lot of trades coming in, a lot of buys, a couple of sells, bits and pieces. I can go to token overlap. I can see who's holding OLAS and I can see who's holding Delizium or AGI, which are both agents. Okay, so now I've identified that OLAS, Auto OLAS, is a token of interest. I pull out a chart for OLAS, of which I've clearly marked it up already because, you know, I did prepare a little bit about what I was going to say. Um, and I left a little bit of a mess on it. But I identified that OLAS actually is looking very interesting. Now, I've been talking about OLAS for a long time. I talked about it back in the autumn, and, you know, since the autumn, it's still done not a lot. It's just been kind of pumping out of this buy zone a lot. Uh, and why has it been pumping out of this buy zone? Well, it's been kind of interesting, guys. It hasn't really had much of a catalyst yet. A lot of these coins, you might have noticed being like, oh, well, it's going to do this, or it's going to do that, and everyone's really excited about it. But until the time is right, it won't happen how do i know the time is right well agi is absolutely just blown up it's done a 5x pretty sure bet not sure not certain but pretty good bet to imagine that this coin auto nolas should well be in the right position if we come across to coin market cap and look at auto nolas you'll see it has a 295 million dollar market cap which is big okay it's not going to pump in five minutes but it's still a pretty exciting opportunity. We can come across the website and find out exactly what OLAS is in more detail. Again, basically it's taking all of the information and working as an AI agent to be able to handle it. But unlike before, which I told you was like a kind of a web two off blockchain kind of thing about the dog grooming, this is more of a kind of an on-chain solution. Imagine having an agent that's going to be able to go out there and identify the trading markets and tell me the best exchange that I want to be selling my coin at. And not only tell me, but actually go and take that trade for me and get rid of my coin at the very best price if I'm using large sums of money. Imagine having someone like that that you could bring into your team and run things for you. This is the concept of what Autonolas is doing. But yes, there is a significant amount of stuff to go and break down, find out more about Autonolas. And, you know, I recommend if you wish and you are kind of more technical than others perhaps who are watching this video then i would suggest going and learning more but all i'm simply dangling in front of you right now is the fact that we've now got a coin that's in the right narrative at the right time before we see a potentially big pump and yesterday i believe it was moving and the first time we saw it launch onto a centralized exchange which was bitget if you want to go and buy it for a centralized exchange there's a link for bitget down below in the description it's the only big exchange that's available right now to be able to pick up a token like this. Then what we want to do is go across to lunacrush.com and identify that Autonolas suddenly is getting quite a bit of interactions in the last few days on Twitter. Okay, this is basically telling me and telling me all the number of different interactions and posts that are going on about Olas right now, ranging from Autonolas themselves, who are pretty accurate. Maybe they're using their AI agents to run their Twitter. 
sneaky but good work and maybe you as well you've got a bunch of influencers etc starting to push this token okay so all things look reasonably exciting reasonably good right now for this particular coin so what have we got to do? Well, let's have a look at a chart pattern. Let's look if we've got any good entry points. This green chart tells me down below that we have a nice like buy zone that was in this green area. You can see every time we roll into here, we wick out, push out, push out. Tells me this is a good area to buy in. Does it come back here? I don't think so. I think you missed chances of being in this buy zone right down here. But as we can see, we are creating what looks like a inverse head and shoulder pattern that is currently breaking the neckline i would anticipate for maybe to come back for a retest at this point but then we are off uh, for a continuation towards the upside somewhere around 11 bucks in the short term uh, which is pretty much up here maybe a hundred percent move maybe a little bit more but i think as an ai agent the ai agents are going to capture more attention there's a good reason they've, they've suddenly just ended up on a big exchange bit get but they're still not really being shouted out or talked about by many people out there this for me is a very good sign as a coin that I know is getting interacted with a lot. And a lot of the more kind of technical deep dive people across Twitter seem to be talking about it. And guys, I'm not associated with this coin in any way. So feel free to go and have a look at it. Think about whether it's good, whether it's bad, what you want to know about it. But I basically just regurgitated to you how my kind of brain works, okay? Now I'm delighted to say that today's video is in partnership with my lovely planet. Perhaps a little easier to understand than the world of AI agents. Now, My Lovely Planet is a mobile phone game that has already attracted between 20 and 30,000 users. They're backed by some of the biggest names across the world of gaming, such as Ubisoft and Unity, and some of the developers working on the game came out of Candy Crush and another one called Battle Royale, which between them have multi-billion dollars in annual revenue. Now, as you'll see, they've managed to capture a lot of media attention, and the main reason they've managed to do this is because this is a game designed to help with the protection of the environment. You can see that within the game, people are encouraged to go and plant trees. And every time you plant a tree in the game, they'll go away in the real world and plant trees. They're hoping to plant around a billion trees over the next few years, clean the oceans of plastic and work to preserve biodiversity, which is a massive issue right now. So the environment is something that I personally am really passionate about. And I think because it has this kind of like good cause kind of back layer, I think it's really going to help drive the success of this particular token. It's a small fully docs team from France and you can see that it's currently in pre-sale. Now if you use the link down below as well as the code House of Crypto, then you'll get an additional 10%. At the moment you can see the price is $0.1 for launch 10 cents. Current market cap will be 0.088 plus that 10% extra. Then you're getting down to roughly paying around 0.07 ish for tokens which means on launch you could potentially see a 30 percent growth more importantly though is launching with an initial cap well under 10 million dollars a very low price for a game in the game fine niche supporting a good cause getting huge amounts of media attention backed by some of the world's biggest gaming companies like ubisoft with the development team who's worked on some of the most successful games if not the most successful game of all time candy crush sounds pretty good right sketch that link down below you just need to click on buy now and let me just point out if you've done your full-blown research and you're interested in actually investing in this token okay this is not financial advice of course go away do your own research check out all the things that are in here things i've said to verify what i'm talking about to make sure that i'm telling the truth uh you can then come down below you can see you can either buy with credit card crypto etc click buy MLC and then you can select your country of residence whatever you might be in I'm not in Australia and no am I not Australian but the UK is a long way down the list so I've just selected Australia you are 18 and you can accept and then you can understand click start you then need to choose your payment method and then just follow the steps below until you qualify now you won't receive your tokens immediately guys because it's a pre-sale okay you're getting pre-sale value it means you will have to wait a few weeks before the actual live launch and when that live launch happens which you can see is going to be happening fairly soon, then you will be sent your tokens. All very straightforward and easy to understand. If you've got any questions about it at all, or you're struggling with it, then get into the free Telegram, which is linked down below in the description. You can find out more about that, as well as other special offers and things that are going on in the House of Crypto. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, you want to learn more about stuff that no one else is talking about, then subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Bye-bye.